Research helps to solve problems. Sometimes those problems are simple and sometimes those problems are very complex, such as we have with spinal cord injury. So with the University of Texas, one of the largest research institutions in the country and the new Dell Medical School, partnering with Seton Brain and Spine Institute, this brings together a group of clinicians and researchers that can focus their expertise and use the extensive resources at the University of Texas to solve even the most complex of problems. Every significant advancement in medical treatment and care has been through extensive research. Because we're interested in human performance, which involves the nervous system, the muscular system, the mechanical structure of the musculoskeletal function, it's critical that we have the input of experts, both clinical experts who understand healthy performance and uh, disabled performance and abilities or disabilities, but also the engineers and scientists that can help us dig deep into the underlying mechanisms. Research has and will continue to transform the landscape of patient care and healthcare delivery. The practical experience of the clinicians and their wisdom combined with our theoretical knowledge is the seed of productive, collaborative clinical research. Since I designed robots for physical therapy, I need to work with those who have expertise in human motion, neuroscience, and physical therapy so that we can design robots that are safe and more effective. So uh, us, as our populations, they, they age and, and at the same time live longer, we lose mobility and the prospects by 2100 is that we're going to have um, many, many million people that are disabled. We are addressing this challenge by developing autonomous systems that can be controlled from any device and they can provide the basic needs that you need at home. Mobility, um, uh, uh, manipulation, uh, uh, doing the basic chores that you do every day. The key to successful medical operations is decision making. And operations research helps people make better decisions across the board, from how to treat an individual patient, to how to operate a hospital, to how to screen a population for disease. Uh, research benefits patients a lot of ways. Um, what's so important is that we need to keep up to date with the latest trends in therapy, um, with neuroplasticity, and maximizing the patient's ability to recover uh, as soon as possible after an injury. So one of my goals when I left school was to make sure that I helped bring together clinicians and academics. And with UT and SPSI, we can do that quickly. We have the questions, we bring it to the students and professors, and then they quickly give us the results, which we then apply to the patients here at the Brain and Spine Recovery Center. Scapular elevation is a, a movement that a lot of patients use to compensate for muscle weakness in their shoulder. Uh, it leads to pain. Uh, decreased range of motion and just other complications that can limit patients' function down the road. The clinicians came to us and asked us if we can develop a method to detect shoulder hiking. Uh, we uh, started off with using electronics, but then we settled down to 3D uh, printing methods and using material that we can find around the lab. Uh, this device provides auditory feedback when the shoulder elevates to a certain height. My role in the project is to apply this device so that the patients get the most clinical benefit out of it. Um, then they can take it into the real world and use it without me next to them and on their own independently. And so a patient can exercise without having to have a therapist present at all times, whether they're working out on a high-tech piece of equipment or just in the gym lifting weights. We're extremely fortunate here at the University of Texas at Austin to be able to bring together experts from fields like neuroscience, biomedical engineering, and kinesiology, as well as clinicians that are part of the medical hospitals near us that can talk about and investigate the problems of neuromuscular disability and rehabilitation. We are developing a clinical research institute. By leveraging the vast resources at the University of Texas and the clinical expertise at SBSI, we can help patients by innovating new treatments and technologies, and by shaping future researchers going forward. The high impact research we're doing here at UT, with the new Dell Medical School and the greater community at Austin, we think we have the power to make a really big difference in rehabilitation engineering. In an instant, a life changes forever. In Austin, we are all dedicated to making each moment count and making that individual's return to function independence and potential a reality.